name is Julie Sanders, and I'm from Bridgeton, New Jersey. My name is Ogechi Ehobuche, and I'm from Plainfield, New Jersey. My name is Tatiana Aguilar, and I'm from Plainfield, New Jersey. My name is Toiba Ayankumbi, and I am from Maplewood, New Jersey. My name is Daniel Lopez, and I'm from New Brunswick, New Jersey. My name is Amina Jones, and I'm from Virginia Beach, Virginia. What it means to me to be the first in my family to go to college is that I'm resilient and strong. I'm representing myself and my family, and I feel that once I graduate, that I'll be able to spread my knowledge and give back to my community. I'm going to be able to reach my full potential that my parents and my grandparents weren't able to do. I can help my family with um, like financial support once I have my own degree and I could get a, a good job that would really support us. It means that uh, my parents um, taking all of the resources that they had put in Nigeria and bring it into a completely new country um, was worth it. When I first started the program, I wasn't really too open-minded about it. But as we started to go along, I started to realize that this program would really benefit me. And in the long run, it would, it would pay off. I think the first day of class at, at Paul Robeson, I, we were all so nervous, still like, not really sure what the institute had to help, uh, to hold or you know what would come of it, how the classes would be if it was really hard. Um, and we were all getting to know each other. And I think that we were able to you know build off of each other's nervousness and that like you know everyone was new, no one was coming in you know better than anyone else. So it was just nice being a part of a community um, of people who uh, were just accepting of you wholly. The first day being on campus, I was like, oh, okay. Nothing really looks that different, but there's definitely a different vibe here with the people going on. So it was really fun to kind of learn about a new culture, a new dynamic, and be a part of that and feel so accepted into it so quickly. I'm able to meet so many amazing people and they're so, so, so funny. They're so, so silly. Like we do so many things that we just, we just think and we're like, do we really do that? Like, yeah, we did. <laughs> I had to get myself to open up. I had to talk to people and actually explore. And it's like the mentors and stuff kind of not forced me, but encouraged us to all learn about each other and get to know each other. Because at the end of the day, us Paul Robeson scholars are a family and we're supposed to look out for one another. The most rewarding part about being in this program is that I get to um, find my resources and find friends and staff that were really gonna help me throughout the year so I don't have a hard time when I get here in the fall. Getting to meet members of the first and second cohort and getting to meet um, uh, people who I think can serve as future mentors to me. Um, nothing compares to the benefit of sustained dialogue with someone who epitomizes the kind of achievement that you aspire to. And so, you know, each day I'm talking to someone who is working in a career field that I might potentially want to, to work in. And, you know, already building that relationship, already building those connections uh, will be very impactful for me right now, but also in the future. The most rewarding part of being in the program is meeting Susan Robeson. I feel like she is such a strong woman and her family has come such a long way in these these years with Rutgers and everything and I just feel like it was an amazing experience. Definitely coming here in the fall is going to be a lot easier because like I said being in the Paul Robeson Leadership Institute is my first time being in Jersey so I think it will be very overwhelming for me to be in the new dynamic of people in a new place just to come on campus and be like whoa new people new place new campus new everything. I think definitely it's going to help me a whole lot. I have an advantage over someone who's just coming in in September because I already know the campuses well. The we we actually had a tour and the the um, success mentors were helping us around, showing us everything, and I just I just know so much more now. I think the program is a great opportunity for anybody who is struggling to find their way in the in college. It's something that you're really gonna understand how to do things when you get here. It's gonna help you so much because you kinda already have your foot in the door. And once you get here, you're gonna be, just be pushed right in. And if you have your foot there, then you kinda already are one step ahead. When I first came into this program on the first day, I was definitely a bit more reserved because I didn't really know a lot of people. But now I'm super close with everyone especially my roommates, and 
yeah, I, I hope I keep in touch with them later. I definitely appreciate all the people that, you know, put in the effort to make this come together, especially honoring someone like Paul Robeson, who has pretty much been erased from textbooks. I think that for, for students who are incoming to the Paul Robeson leadership, really take advantage of this opportunity, really seize the moment and seize every second and minute, whether you are in the dorms, you're in a classroom, um, be aware of what this community has to offer, what your peers and the faculty and the staff all have to offer, because four years from now, 10 years from now, this is the community that you're going to look upon to for resources, for advice, and for companionship.